iWave uh, 3000 Pro. This is the multifunction one, and at the moment I've set it on ACT, but I want to do some MIG welding. So first thing I need to do is select the actual material or the process I want to use. So I go into the sidebars, and at the moment it's set on TIG, so I'll go to MIG Mag, Pulse Emergent, one of my favorite ones, because you can do all the materials pretty much with the Pulse MIG welding process. So next thing I'll do is select the trigger mode, which is to do with how the actual trigger behaves where it goes on and off or where it gets latched or where it has a hot start, cold finish for crater fill and starting the weld up. I will in this case go from a hot start which you will set on to a two step mode which is simply on and off trigger. And now I'm going to select the filler material. So at the moment it's set up on stainless steel. We want to change it for a 5% silicon aluminium. So change the settings and I'll scroll up and at the top here we've got ALSI 5, 5% aluminium, sorry, 5% silicon and aluminium, which is a 4043 for most people's purposes. So we go on to the next stage. What diameter wire do I want? 1.2 mil works best. And it's telling me now there's 100% argon gas required. Let's just go to next. And it's asking, is this correct? And I'll store it, which then it's all set the material settings. So we are now on MIG welding. Um, on 5% silicon, 100% argon, 1.2 mil. Across the top, you can actually see what is actually uh, what you've actually set it to do. So there is further things to do, and particularly on aluminium, this is where synchro pulse comes into play. Now this setting is what gives you the tick, tick style ripple effect on your MIG welding. So I go into process parameters, select synchro pulse, and hey presto. I actually find it's already turned on. So I'll just tell you how to turn it off so we can then turn it back on again. So select it, turn it off, and you'll note that the light at the top here comes on and off on the green symbol, which tells me whether the synchro pulse is on or off. So I've got it on now, and I'm gonna go down to the next uh, item, which is usually the most important one, and that's the frequency of pulsing. Now, if you want a nice, uh, a large ripple, then you have it on a slow pulsing, which can be, say, perhaps one and a half to two seconds. That's a slowish one. Or you can speed it up and have a very tight ripple and have it up to, say, four pulses a second. Next up, we go to duty cycle, and that is to do with how long the upper side of the pulse is to create that ripple effect. So at 50%, it's 50-50, obviously. But if I go to 75%, it then means the upper side of the pulse is three quarters of the total cycle and the lower part is one quarter. In other words, 75, 25%. Select OK, go back to welding, and we're pretty much all ready to go as long as we've got aluminium wire in here. Try it with aluminium wire, don't try it with stainless steel, otherwise you'll have fun. See you next time.